we are at war with the steps as well as muscovy um which is nice because we actually had a huge truce with muscovy and uh taking a look over here it looks like muscovy is uh feeling kind of ambitious towards uh sieging us down so what we need to do here i'll take mercantilism absolutely is we need to get over here siege down muscovy's you know core home area area so to speak and uh get them out of this war because the sooner we get them out of the war, the sooner we can prepare them, kind of prime them, if you will, to uh, go to war in a couple of months here. So I'm actually going to get the level two guy there. Ooh, the Evangelical Union is victorious. Very cool. So what does that mean? That's like a very, very much like succinctly Protestant Germany. So I'm going to turn my fan on here. I hope you guys can't hear it uh, my ac fan it's a little chilly or a little hot in my office but uh, yes we do indeed have a protestant reformation that was successful that's pretty cool um i don't really need any of this so we're just gonna go over here and uh yeah now i could try to fight these guys here i don't really want to honestly i don't want to at all actually oh actually if brandenburg's coming up here I'm, i will gladly go in here let's they are not helping can you please help dude be supportive dude all right when you're we're gonna need a better general though two two so they're sitting here pretty with a four one four five i will take that now brandenburg is not turning to help us that is tragic man oh just kidding we're actually in a really good spot when we're gonna crush them okay we took heavy losses but remember well okay they, they have manpower. We have a lot more, though. All I want to do is white peace, Muscovy, because they're only in the war because they were defend, um, guaranteeing them. That's all. We have a couple of forts over here that are going to protect them from occupying any land that means literally anything to me. So we are in a good spot. Now, they're going to head down here where they're having rebels, which is great for us. So occupy a couple of provinces here. Get you guys occupied over here. And let's have this stack continue to chase them now i um i stated this just so i could put the defensiveness on it we are in the green again which is nice only one percent loan so i'm okay with this now are they going to be taking all that attrition no sadly it's in their own land so the ai doesn't take attrition even though they should so this is fine let's uh head on over and what in the world chagatai that is a cool flag i like that flag is that is that a base game? Or is that from one of my mods? I, d I don't even know at this point. All right, Muscovy. Come on now. Monthly tick, they should be willing to peace out. Very good. White peace. Now, the reason being, it gives us the shortest truce possible with them. That way we can attack them in a few years with Lithuania, I guess. Okay, that's fine. So I was taking a look around as well. It may be... Well, we can't state up a whole lot of stuff right now. We can't state up anything actually right now. Actually, unstate this stuff. Um... But I wanted to partially state this just so I could update that, upgrade that center of trade there. So I'm going to do that. Uh, let's get you guys grouped up over here with uh, you. Now, these guys are just going to head on over and yeah, let's have one, one stack head over for Uzbek. I don't want these rebels to touch my land. So here's the great thing here. Those guys shouldn't have mill access. Yeah, they can't. They don't have mill access. So this these rebels here absolutely gonna just destroy them <laughs> so that's really good for us all right let's actually come on over here this chagatai stack is gonna need to get get gone and i'll convert some provinces as well all right they're heading over to my fort so hmm. yeah chagatai is like way out oh, yeah Ugh, i'm not all right let's see here i don't actually care on t about taking anything other than what we need from him so I don't think a full annex is required. Matter of fact, yeah, this is very reasonable. We may actually just keep Uzbek, who's actually very blobby. May actually just keep Uzbek in the war. Let's turn my music up a little bit here. Give you guys a little something to listen to, right? We'll see how it goes here. I will come over and siege this down. It's fine. Uh, I am going to need to take the war goal. Oh, it shows superiority. Right. All right, they're locked in. Now, they're a horde, so they get the extra movement speed. You got to remember that. They get 20% movement speed for being a horde, but that's pretty good. 
All right, so Uzbek has 26k. I'm just going to run my whole 36, 30 some stack over there. It's a weird that these guys don't get unblack flagged in my land. I feel like they should. But uh, it's a weird little thing about this game. Now, hopefully those guys are not able to run. Good. This is Woods. So they are a horde. So that means they are going to take an additional 25% damage. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty bad for them. But yeah, now these guys, they're going to get completely overrun. The the rebels are going to full occupy them. Because they, well, yeah, they got like, they, last I looked, they had about 30 some, 40 some thousand men down here. Might have them like sitting in this province in the fog of war. Either way, it's hilarious. And we just need to come over here, carpet these guys down. Now, I'm just holding on to this mostly to make sure that I'm able to uh, work through what I'm trying here. So we're plenty ahead of time on mill tech. I think we can go back to this guy. And I will take the mill morale. I just don't want... I want to make sure we take this. Mill tactics is a hugely important tech. Always, always, always take the mill tactics techs. So here we go. All right. Now, Uzbek's got... Yeah. Uh, that's most of their army is right there. So that's fine with me. So we're just going to carpet siege these lads down. This is our general. Do I have a general with more siege pips? I do. So let's get you down over there. Here we go. Now, if I keep Uzbek in the war, you know what? I'll just piece Uzbek out. They don't want out. Really? Okay. Um, that's weird. I guess we're going to come over here. Trade efficiency sounds good to me. Absolutely. So let's wait here. They're going into this province here. So let's get our general. Right, right. They're a horde, so they're going to be really fast. Okay, we have a 5-2-3. And, uh, yep, doesn't matter. So let's go with the Merchant Sun. A 3-1-3. Three, three. Unfortunate, man. It is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. So they're heading on to this fort here. So once we take their capital fort, their war exhaustion is going to just start exploding. Which is going to... Oh my gosh, they dodged me for real. Border friction against Muscovy. Nuh-uh. Hold on a minute. And it lasts for 10 years? Border friction is a really good PU. Or uh, CB. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Border friction is a really good CB because it gives, a, gives you a CB on every border that province that borders, which is like literally every single one of their provinces. That's uh, that's nuts, actually. So we have to make sure we use that CB. That's going to be a big deal. All right. Oh, I love this. Oh, they're actually going to lose their dynasty for the second time. Buxhoodven. How in the world does, is that? A Russian dynasty. I have no idea. Doesn't look like it. All right. Uzbek. Fierce negotiator, huh? Yeah, there's not really a reason for you guys to be in this war, honestly. Let them lock in at Kasimov. Head up here. Wipe them out. There you go, idiots. You suck. Get down here. Wipe you out. You suck. Get over here. Wipe you out. Always take your 10 to 1s, lads. Very important. So that is a cannon. Get on over here. There you go. Always take your 10 to 1s. Very important. And just like that, we have all the war score we need to take everything we need from them for the achievement. Which I will take. Very good. That actually allows me to border Ostrakhan as well, so I can snake all those provinces from them. And our truce with the Teutons, or the, with Muscovy, will be up in four years. Very good. All right. So, I'm going to, since we are at peace, I will upgrade you, unstate you, and core all. We're going to end up having some rebels. There's, It's pretty much unavoidable. These guys are allied to Transoxiana, who it looks like they are kind of a nobody at this point. So, I suppose... We wait for the monthly tick until we get Holy War. Very good. Wait for my diplomat to get back and let's head on in, right? Make like a baby and head out. Okay. Yeah, they don't have an army, so I don't care about them. And uh, now we just rinse and repeat. So these guys are going to be the army that is uh, set to... Um, 
suppress the rebels. Let's have them head up to Kazan here. So is Perm independent? Perm is allied to Siber. Who doesn't matter? All right, now... Oh, Transoxiana has no armor, army. Okay, well, that's really fortunate. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to group, and we're going to have rebels. I don't think there's much you can really do about that at all. So uh, we're just going to hang tight, suppress them. They're going to fire. I don't particularly care. And uh, we're good. Oh. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Now, I don't actually need every province from them. I just need these ones. Those three, which will actually make it easier, because since I won't technically be uh, full annexing them. Okay. Continue to uh, buy these guys. Um, Do I need admin mana? No? Well, I'll take the money. I don't mind. That allows me to pay off my debts. Okay. Now, as far as the fort line goes, we can delete a couple of our forts. Well. Hmm. We don't need the fort and plock anymore. I don't really need this fort. Or this one. Oops. What did I do? No, 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 no. What the heck? Don't need the one in Smolensk. Nope. Okay, so now all of our fort zones... Yep, we're still good. Fort line is solid. Now, I probably should build a fort out here. Not a level 2, or not a level 4. Right there. I'll upgrade them whenever I can. Doesn't matter. That border CB is so funny, actually. Border, uh, border friction or whatever. Take all their money. Now, I never yoinked the dev from out here. That's fine. That makes it so it's a uh, cost less of us for us on governing capacity. Now, how far off am I here? And what can I get? That's the question. Maximum absolutism is solid. Um, change government rank. Enables parliament. Disables nobility. Okay. This one... A general becomes ruler when the current ruler dies. Land leader fire, harsh treatment cost. And this one here is unlocks the ability to change government rank. Elections only occur when ruler dies. Does not have heirs. M monarchists, militarists versus theocrats mechanics. Well, I suppose we're going to go with that one. I love the absolutism as well. So. This is fine with me. I will definitely take mill mana. Absolutely. There we go. Got some rebels popping. Okay, okay. Not bad at all. For all. And um, that means we will be able to take literally every single province from Muscovy for the most part. That is so good. And remember, all this... <laughs> Let's take a look at their economy here. So you go to country. You go to score comparison. And then you can sort by rivals. You can sort by, you know, negative opinion. Um, it'd be cool if you could sort by people who border you or something like that. But uh, one way you can do is you can go to admin rating. It's usually how I do it. So Muscovy, it looks like, has fallen out of grace. I do not see them at all here, do I? I do not think so. So you can just search them up over here. So Muscovy has minus six and they are bankrupt. Minus 10. Loans, you can see 0.02. You get 0.02 per loan. So if they had like 0.1, they have five loans. Just some quick math. The bankruptcy is really good because that means these uh, rebels are going to absolutely crush them. Now, that means, it depend, depending on when they declare their bankruptcy, uh, that's it could be really good for us. So I'm going to hold off and we're going to take that mill tech before we take anything else. I don't care about that. Um, you guys, you know what? Let's just uh, mothball the fleet so I don't have to pay for it. Save up the money. Now, Great Horde is allied to a bunch of people. Let's see here. What else do I need out this way? I guess we could attack Perm. Bashkira, allied to a bunch of people as well. I suppose we attack these guys. 
Use these guys over here to suppress. We don't need more than one stack. Looks like there's not actually that big of a deal for unrest, which is nice. All right, cool. And if we have like, if it gets to a point where we're going to have uprisings and like places that I need to be mindful of, I'll just, you know, take my army and uh, move them if I need to. If we need to move them, so be it. It's not a big deal. So in now this war, I believe, I think I need to full annex them. I do. So that means Siber over here and OPM. We're going to head on down, make like a baby. I, I keep saying that. I don't actually, <laughs> the context doesn't actually make sense, which makes it funnier in my opinion. All right. Uh, let's go with improved relations, I suppose. We're going to have to colonize a couple of provinces. It's fine. It means nothing. It just means that I'm going to have to um, take Explo, colonize a couple of provinces, and then, you know, we've got the achievement. It looks like we're going to be very close to being able to get it. Well, I say that. We have to take a lot of clay over here still. So, easier said than done. We're going to full annex them. We just need to win this siege over here and we will be able to peace out. No problem. Might as well do a little bit of looting. Yep, no big deal. Now, this province here is a gold mine. I think it's the only gold mine in the area. Yeah, it is. So if I really needed it, I could take that, but I don't think I really need it, honestly. This will actually allow me to border every but one of Muscovy's provinces. Our truce with them will be up very soon. March of 79. Ooh, are they still bankrupt? They are still bankrupt and they've cut down their army. Looks like they're actually drilling their army. Kind of funny. In a weird, sick and twisted kind of way. Our general died. That is tragic. All right. Let's uh, annex you. Take all your money as well because screw you, dude. I will gladly yoink a little bit of dev. Makes it cheaper to core it. And uh, we're going to be overextended for a couple of months. What can you do, you know? It is what it is. Now, I actually think I can trade company some of this stuff over here if I wanted to, yeah? Let's see here. No, I can trade company these provinces if I had them, but I don't because they're not in the regions that we plan to take. So no big deal. All right, absolutely. I will always take mercantilism. Mercantilism is strong. Very solid. All right, let's have you guys suppress over here as well. Very good. How much are you guys suppressing? Is it five? Oh, not even close. All right, nice. All right. So I lied. We're actually going to have these guys with a general head on over. They're going to be my Lithuania stack. This is his entire army right here. They are still bankrupt. And I are truce is up in March. So we're going to get our army grouped up over here. Get a discipline advisor. I'll just go up to a level two. A seam. Very good. What else are we looking at here? No guy in Permian. Okay. Mill advisor leaves our court. Well. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not going to do that. I will improve my relations with Pope Man, though. Now, are these guys feeling good about me? They're thinking about it, man. Are we rival to Ottomans? We are. We're still in no better of a spot than we were last time. Tragic. This is okay. I suppose we could use a couple more cannons, so let's get a couple more cannons. Our force limit is not even close to where we are. So we just need to convert everything, of course. It's literally part of the achievement, so whatever we uh, have these rebels, you know, it is what it is. And then after they fire, we don't need to worry about them again because by the time they'd be able to fire again, we're going to be in good shape with our uh, religious unity, right? Oh, I am a dingus. Let's attack these guys. Border friction. Look at this. You can see 75% war exhaustion and 75% cost. That's the key right there. So let's go for like Saratov since we're right here. Whereas this one here is 100% cost for all religion, all provinces. However, we border every province except for one. One province here, which means I'll have to pay full price for it. Oh no. <laughs> like that's, that's crazy. So let's go for Saratov. They are bankrupt, which means you guessed it. They have the negative 50% morale. So that's an absolute clap. We got some rebels popping over here. So, all right, let's uh, detach a couple of armies to come on over here. 
have you guys head on in here. And uh, just siege down Lithuania's capital real quick. Now, I can't take these provinces because I can't reach them. But I need those three. So I'm tempted to snake down because I don't want any of these provinces because the culture doesn't isn't compatible. But I think we'll just come back for it later, admittedly. I am under the impression that I told you guys to come up here. So that's my bad. Ooh, and some war tunes. These guys, I will just, you know, white piece them or something. Doesn't matter. Here's their armies. 19,000. These guys have 14 somewhere. Let's have you guys come over here. Trade efficiency for half off. I think the guy we have right now is half off. Is he? No, he's not. Well, heck yeah, dude. And he's our culture. Oh, that's going to save us a ton of money. That's incredible. All right. So we're very close to being able to take this Miltech as well. Okay. Have you guys come up here? Okay. Now I can probably piece you out. Yep. Very good. Um, I guess I'll just take war reps. Yeah, that's fine. And just like that. They have some armies, but oh no, anyways. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. All right. These guys are going to siege down over here. We have the war goal. Have you guys come over here? Let's have these guys headhunt for some stacks. They're uh, still bankrupt. So that one war, that's that's why it's always a good thing to um, cut your armies and cut them in half. You know, it creates border gore, but dude, trust. It is the reason why they're as like absolutely gutted as they are right now. Look at that. I'm just stack wiping them entirely. There's not, not there's no counterplay to what we're doing. They even deleted their fort on Moscow. These poor lads. I say that, but so now the question is, is can I full annex them? I kind of doubt we can. No, definitely not. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everything that anybody else could take. So that's the big ones. And then we're going to cut them down to size here. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of AE. Woo. Now I'm hoping these are provinces I'd be able to um, exploit dev from. So I think that's fine. We have the war goal, so we're in a good spot there. Now, oopsies, keep hitting the wrong button there. Now you guys are coming in here. Let's get a general on you. We can take tech for Diplo. Mm hmm. If I wait for the yearly tick, I'll be able to maintain that. So we'll wait until the yearly tick. Continue to convert these her heretics and heathens. There we go. This is such a smack. Oh my gosh. It feels so good, doesn't it? I just feel like I'm punching a baby. It doesn't feel right. But it feels so right. Hurts so good. Believe me, it hurts me much more than it hurts them. If you can believe it. All right, here we go. All right, that's it. Now, give me war reps and all your money. And just like that. <laughs> so now the question is, is can I yoink? I can yoink. Can I yoink? 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 Yes, absolutely we can yoink. And the reason why, if you're wondering, is because it lowers how much overextension we have. Oopsies, I forgot that we still have some from another war. You know what? That's okay. I'm cool with that. We're going to hang out overextended to assert our dominance. We can core it all at the same time, which isn't great. And uh, now we just chill. Let these guys suppress rebels for a little bit. That's it. Easy peasy. Let's shift. Let's uh, shuffle split. Those. No, shuffle split is when you take half of one army and send it to another. Shuffle and split half another one and send it to another. It's just a quick and dirty way to kind of make them even out. It, it's not ideal. It's not perfect, but it does work. So see this 20 stack and this 14 stack is going to group up. So I think these guys will actually be 100% even. 35. Have these guys suppress. I don't care about the little bit of attrition we're taking. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Oh, so that's an overextension. So see, now each of these stacks are 35 uh, regiments each. Pretty cool, yeah? That is from that is an Arumba trick, actually, if you can believe that. And I missed the yearly tick. 
Oh, I am so much predictable, aren't I? All right, well, that's pretty crazy. Next war, we need to go to war with one of these guys over here. Now, uh, yeah, these are both going to be painful, to be honest with you. So we need one province from these guys. I might be able to threaten them for it. We'll see. Um, I need to get a claim on that. So let's get a claim on that. Let's get some claims on, honestly, multiple people. Let's get some claims on these guys as well. That's going to make it easier to core it up in the future. I probably should have been getting some cores this whole time. And as we continue to convert it and core it up, we will be one step closer to getting the uh, Baltic Crusader. And then somebody had mentioned some uh, interesting cheese in which you culture convert or you form Prussia and then culture convert and form Russia. And I'm actually interested in trying that out. I'm not sure exactly how easy it would be, but I'm going to do a little bit of research and see if that's possible uh, because that would allow us to have militarization and then have the 33% uh, from Russia, which would essentially make it so we are able to, you know, not really have a huge malice to our uh, governing cap cap capacity from being Prussian, Prussia. So uh, kind of cool. But either way, if you guys are enjoying, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, subreddit, the Twitter, support me on Patreon. It's all linked in the description below. And that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.